How was practice today? It was pretty good, you know, coming out of uh, two a day yesterday and with just one practice today in full pads, I, I thought the offense um, was a little better than the defense, um, but we got some good kicking game work in. The kickers finished it up right. They went three for three at the end of practice on field goal to win the game. Uh, more good situational work and, uh, uh, you know, really physically uh, 10 days in or 10 practices in, whatever it is, uh, we're holding up pretty good uh, and that's good to see. You think this is the best two practices put together? You know, you seem to be very pleased after yesterday's practice and, you know, it's the same way today. I, I would say best three, even yesterday morning. Uh, and then last night was pretty good. And then, uh, like I said, coming back, uh, getting up early and getting going and, and uh, going 20 periods today and everything. I, I thought, uh, really, we've kind of, you know, like I said, the defense wasn't maybe quite as sharp today, but I, I think uh, still strung together three pretty good ones back to back. We'll hope we, hope we can do, keep doing it. The challenge will be tougher now as we go through the week as a little more fatigue starts to set in and, and uh, the second week and everything. But that's good. We need, to, we need to get to the point where we are in a situation where we have to focus and challenge ourselves mentally uh, when we're tired. And so uh, that's good. We, we, we need to be put in that situation and be tested and see who can handle it and who can't yet. Randy Price even got a chance uh, at a uh, catch today. He did. We, uh, Randy, uh, we've moved Randy to receiver, and uh, you know he'll stay there right now unless we get an injury at quarterback. And uh, I, I, he gives us some help there. And uh, I thought he looked pretty good for his first day and uh, and everything. And it was really Randy's thought to, to do that to help the team. And uh, it looks like a good thought right now. Is that something that he's done in his past and has experience at? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I, I, uh, if he has, I'm completely unaware of it. Speaking of receivers, I mean, they just continue to, to get stronger and stronger as camp is going on. I mean, they can, you know, they've been really probably your best position so far offensively. Well, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have agreed with you yesterday morning. We had about six drops yesterday morning. But um, I think what's happening is we – as camp wears on, the rhythm between quarterback and receivers is getting better. And so they're looking better, and, and as a result, the quarterback is too. And I think we're, our passing game looked a little sharper today because of those kinds of things, which, you, you know, you hope those kind of things happen now that we're past installation, that we, we do get into uh, timing is better, rhythm is better, throwing the football. And, and I think that's what we're seeing a little bit right now. And coach, last thing for me, we're, uh, there's a little bit of concern on the sideline when Damani Alexi crashed into John Thompson. So you were c more concerned about Damani Alexi than you were Coach Thompson. Well, we can coach him from a wheelchair, but we can't <laughs> play Damani from a wheelchair. <laughs> That's, we had a trainer go down yesterday, and uh, we gave her an MTXE shirt uh, today for her for her effort because she bounced right back and she got hit pretty good. And uh, that's why I told Coach Thompson, I said, don't you, we didn't hurt a player, did we? That's what, that's what matters the most. We, we can get him in the press box or something. <laughs>